Hello everyone, my name is Fernando de Aquino and I am a technical consulting engineer for the enterprise land switching team here at Cisco. In today's video, I will guide you to troubleshoot in PBSD simulation failure or inconsistency on a network running MSD and PBSD+. Understanding these issues is crucial to maintaining an stable spanning interest topology and preventing unexpected traffic disruptions. When running MSD alongside PBSD, inconsistency can occur due to mismatch spanning tree configurations, and this can lead to blocked ports and network disruptions. Instance 0, IST, is very particular about how it interacts with PBSD+. It's very easy for the IST to get confused and go into the PBSD inconsistency state if PBSD Plus is not designed in a particular way. For example, consider a scenario where switch A running MSD is connected via trunk to switch B running PBSD Plus. Both switches have VLANs ranging from 1 to 100. When switch B sends multiple VPDUs for VLANs 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on up to 100, the MSD switch primarily processes only the VLAN 1 BPDU. However, this doesn't mean the MSD switch ignores the other BPDUs entirely. In reality, switch A processes them, which is where confusion can arise. For instance, suppose the MSD switch, switch A, has a bridge priority of 8192. If switch B sends a BPDU for VLAN 1 with a priority of 4096, a direct comparison shows that switch B has a better priority. However, when a BPDU for VLAN 2 arrives with a priority of 12,300, switch A gets confused. It essentially says, wait, you are better than me on VLAN 1, but worse on VLAN 2. I'm confused, resulting in a PBSD inconsistency state. As a result, switch A immediately blocks the interface because the situation is illogical. Some of switch B priorities are better, while others are worse, which instance 0 cannot handle. The PBSD network must follow specific rules to keep instance 0 from getting confused. Without these rules, instance 0 might block the interface because it can decide what to do. These are our full possible ranges of bridge IDs, from 0 and some MAC address to 65,535 and some MAC address. Here is a random value for the bridge ID of instance 0. In this graphic, instance 0 bridge ID is lower than VLAN 1 bridge ID. In this particular case, MST wins and it's the root bridge for the common internal spanning tree. If we take a look at the bridge ID of all the other VLANs in the PBST domain, if they are higher than instance 0, we do not have PBST simulation failure. Where MST gets confused, is if the PBSD VLANs for VLAN 2 on up to 4094 are the same as instance 0 or less than. This leads to PBSD simulation failure or inconsistency. This applies only if the MST is the winner. If the MST is the loser and the root bridge is not within the MST region, we have then that PBSD VLAN 1 bridge ID is lower than instance 0 bridge ID. If all the PBSD VLANs are the same as VLAN 1 or higher, this results in the PBSD inconsistency. This must be lower than VLAN 1 bridge ID to avoid the PBSD failure. Let's look at an example. Given the following output from two switches, what actions must be taken, if any, to prevent PBSD simulation failure or inconsistency? The first thing to look at is to compare instance 0 priority with VLAN 1 priority. In this case, the overall winner is VLAN 1. These other VLANs here need to be lower than VLAN 1. In this example, VLAN 10 to 50 are higher. One thing to fix this is to go to the root bridge of all your other VLANs and lower the priority less than 40,960. The second form to fix this is to take the priority of instance 0 and lower it to a value less than 40,960. Let's perform the task in a lab. In this lab, we can see that the interface gigabit 00 is on a blocking state due to PBSD inconsistency because VLAN 1 is lower than instance 0, but the other VLANs within the PBSD region are higher than the VLAN 1. 
let's lower the priority in VLANs 10 to 50 to a value of 36,864. After a couple of seconds, PBSD simulation inconsistency is clear. On the other way, we can adjust the priority of instance 0 to a value lower than VLAN 1 to fix the issue. Once the inconsistencies are clear, traffic should flow normally with unexpected disruptions. In summary, for PBSD simulation to work without failures, these two conditions must be met. If the root bridge is within a non-MST region, the spanning chip priority of VLANs 2 and above within that domain must be better than that of VLAN 1. If the root bridge is within an MST region, VLANs 2 and above defining the non-MST domains must have their spanning chip priorities worse than that of the instance 0. And that's how to troubleshoot and resolve PBSD inconsistencies in a mixed MSD and PBSD network. Stay tuned for more networking insights and solutions. Thank you so much for watching.